Be prepared, not adorned. First, you need to be prepared. Preparation is from inside. Adoration is from outside. Unless we're prepared from inside, there is no point of, prepare, of making yourself beautiful from outside. Let God dwell in you from within in order for that beauty outside becomes natural. Because it is God who makes you beautiful, not you, not anyone else. Let God dwell in you to make you beautiful from outside as well. Come to church for the Lord. Work in the church for the Lord. I'll say it again for every committee member that works in this church. If you are not here for the Lord Jesus, don't come here again. The church is opened for you to come and pray, for you to come and worship the Lord. It is opened. But for you to work in any committee and you are doing it for someone else outside of Christ, you better take yourself out of that committee before I take you out of it. Because I will not tolerate nonsense. If you're not serving the Lord, don't serve me. I won't accept it because you're lying. This house is not mine for you to serve me. This house is the Lord's. If you are not here for the Lord, I don't want you to be here for me. I'm nobody. The Lord is everything, not me. You need to serve the Lord. You need to be prepared. Amen. That's the way. Love the Lord. Ra. Love the Lord Jesus. We pray for a good change. Amen. We pray for a good change. That's why labor can't win again. We sack them all. We need Christians. We need people with morals. In the church and in the secular world. We want leaders that are real men, not cowards. Real men, not cowards. Not selling the flock for Satan. They see the wolf, they run away. Why? Because they are a hireling. They're not there for the sheep. They are there for the money, for the fame, for the, for the, for the throne. For their own glories. Such leaders are traitors. Judas Iscariot is a saint compared to you. He's a saint compared to you. So if you have any respect left in you, come down from that throne and resign. But I love everyone. <laughs> I pray for everyone. But the truth must be said, even if it's a sword against my own neck. has to be said. Amen. A couple of announcements. Oh, <laughs> you're in trouble. <laughs> Today is, I think it's a world record. Um, reminder again, Christmas carols this Saturday, the 7th. Oh, it's tomorrow. No, 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 next week. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll take that back. <laughs> next Saturday, not this Saturday, the one after, 7th of December. It is our Christmas carols for this year. Please, it is open for everyone. Families, mom and dads, children. Come, all of us together, in the love of Christ and celebrating the one who changed the history of mankind forever, the one and only, our, the love of our life, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord, our God, our everything. So, Saturday the 7th of December starts at 3 p.m. It's an open day. Um, the committees here have put a beautiful thing for all the kids, games, you name it. It's going to be big, massive, so please do come. Everybody is welcomed. Saturday the 7th of December starting at 3 p.m. Christmas carols. Tomorrow, 30th of November at 6.30 p.m. sharp, it is the graduation day for our beloved angels in the Divine Heart Sunday School. Mom and Dad, please do come along with your children. Tomorrow is for you and for your children. It's the graduation day. At 6.30 p.m., please, you need to come with your children tomorrow for the graduation day. And also, you can enroll your children for 2025 in our Sunday school as well. Um, one last thing. Today with us is also our daughter in Christ, Virginia. 
She is a mortgage consultant working for FinSelect. We've mentioned in the last couple of weeks, um, they can help you with all your finances. But the only reason I'm actually announcing this because of the intention of their heart. It was really, really nice. They said, whatever commission we make, we are giving it back to the church. We wish to help the church with the profession we know, which is mortgage consultancy. So if you apply for a loan, if you want to refinance your loan, you know, you, you always go somewhere, they'll give you that loan. But the mortgage consultant gets that commission. They are giving it back to the church 100%. So that's why the intention was good, and this is why we are mentioning it. Please, it's a good cause, it's a great support for the church, and I've said it, and I'll say it again. Till the last breath in this body, and as long as this eye is open, I will make sure that every penny goes to the people that need it the most. I will not accept anyone to take one penny from the church that belongs to the brothers and sisters of, of Christ who are in need, struggling in Australia and abroad. For as long as I live, I can assure you, whatever money comes, whatever donation comes, it will go to people that need it, and it will go to them because they are the rightful owners, not me. I am a steward. I am being put here to make sure that money that comes from the hand of the Lord goes to his people that are the rightful owners and the rightful owners are those who are homeless those who are afflicted those who are sick those who are naked those who are rejected those who are forgotten the money belongs to them the church is rich with people not with money not with possession not with properties the church cannot be recognized as rich materialistically the only time the rich the church is rich when it is spiritually rich when the sons and daughters of the church are true worshippers of the Lord Jesus from the heart, prepared for the groom, the heavenly groom, from within, not from without. That's when the church is rich. What's the point of me having billions of dollars in the account and I am poor spiritually? My children are not fed the right food. Shame on me as a leader. Shame on me. The money is for the ones who own it. Those who are forgotten. The Lord gives me a billion, the billion will go to them. Nothing. And if anybody tries to touch that money, they better not stay there when I come. They better not be there. The Lord is my witness. And I say it with confidence because he is the crown of my glory. He taught me to be that. It's all him, nothing me. He taught me to be this way. It's not me talking, it's him. That's why nobody can shut me up except him. So if you think I'm judging, it's your problem, not mine. Speak to the Lord. If you think I'm tough and rough and rude, it's your problem. If you're smart enough, go and talk to the Lord. If you are that close to him, go for, go for it. You go and, and whinge against me to the Lord, he will tell you off. This I know. He'll say, yo, that's my son you're talking about. Be careful. And I've given him the permission to talk. So you're coming to tell me that he's wrong? Go and learn from him. Because I taught him. Go and learn. I taught him. So, please see Virginia. If you need any financial help, because the money is going to come back to the church and from the church to the people that need it the most. May the Lord Jesus rebuke every evil deed the world is trying to put against the church. May the Lord Jesus rebuke Satan and all of his foul spirits. May the Lord Jesus rebuke every evil doer, every human being that pleases when they do evil. May they be put to shame. And if they do not repent, may the Lord Jesus pluck them from their roots. Whoever they are, 
wherever they are and whatever they are. May the Lord Jesus reveal to every human being that there is one true living divine God and this God is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray, Lord, unite your church. No more false shepherds. No more. Lord, I ask you to renew your church, to touch the hearts of every church leader. You know the heart, Lord, and no one else know that heart more than you. When you see that heart is not willing to change, replace that leader and put a leader that will bring you fruits in its seasons. Enough of Cain's. We need Abel's from now on. Enough of lies, enough of killing, enough of deception, enough of poison. Lord, get up and show yourself for this dead, dark world and also reveal your glory to your bride whom you have purchased with your own precious blood on the cross on Calvary. Teach the church a lesson that there is only one good shepherd, one savior, one leader, and one God, and one Messiah. It is you and no one else. You are the rightful owner of the church and no one else. You are the only good shepherd of the church and no one else. And you are the only head to this body called the church and no one else. Lord. Any leader and every leader that is not willing to bow before your holy feet, that leader is to be plugged from their roots. Enough of this evilness. Enough. I beg you, Lord, now this moment, may this prayer be received by you and acknowledged by you. And may this prayer be done through your holy will this moment, Lord, because we've had enough. We've had enough. And enough of this nonsense the world is doing. Show them that there is only one God. And you rule over every prime minister, over every earthly king, and over every earthly president. You are in charge, not them. Show them, Lord. And enough of this foolishness, stupidity, and absolute ignorance by people who have been deceived by Satan. Enough, Lord, enough. Enough. Like you said to Moses, go and tell Pharaoh, let my people live. I say to Satan in Jesus' mighty name, let my people live. Satan be gone. I want to raise my children Christian way. Who are you? Fools. I want to teach my children Christian values. How dare you tell me what to do? I'll fix Australia, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need to understand there is God in heaven. Like Pope Cyril, the Sikh said to that man, piece of dust. Because that man said, I am, I, I, am a, I am the government here. I have authority. He said, well, you have a government on earth and I have a government in heaven. Let me see who wins. So if the government on earth think they have authority, well, there is a government in heaven who is the only true authority. When I ask the Lord Jesus, he will show Australia what it is made of. So they can pass whatever they want to pass through parliament, those sneaky little evildoers. But they will get nowhere. Whoever challenges God must fall. Whoever challenges God must fall. Shame on Australia, shame on America, shame on Canada, shame on Europe for denying the Messiah. Shame. Every time the Western world introduced laws offensive to the Lord Jesus, shame on you. 
every time. Because once upon a time you were built on Christian values. Today, Satan is laughing at you. So let's see what Satan is going to do for you. He will throw you all in hell. This is what Satan is going to do. And he will laugh at you at the end. We need to come back to Christ. There is no other way. It is not a superpower country that protects my country. It is God, Jesus Christ, who protects it. And I'll say this, and maybe for the last time, for the president of America, your only hope, your only way of life and eternal one, when you stand before the whole world, and you better mean it from the heart. You can lie to the world. You cannot lie to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me assure you. Let me assure you. Let me assure you. A day will come. All of us must die physically. And when the spirit leaves the body. It is then and then only you'll understand. All along there is only one God. And his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you will see the awesomeness of Christ. Therefore I say to you. The only way. To save America, the only way to save yourself as the president, the only way for any nation to be saved, for any government to be saved, when you come back and say, this God, his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is no other way. There is no other way. All your weapons put together cannot save you. It is the Lord who saves and protects I pray once for a change, a president that serves the Lord from the heart. I pray for that because we haven't had one yet. And I pray for a church leader to serve the Lord from the heart because I'm still searching for one yet. A true leader. That stands and speaks the truth. I'm a sinner. I'm seeking this leader. To reach out to them. To help me. I'm yet to find one. I'm yet to find one. What happened? We need the Lord my beloveds. We need the Lord Jesus my beloveds. We need the Lord Jesus. Amen.